The PLC editor is a user-friendly graphical interface that configures logic equations in the 650 family of relays. In modern microprocessor relays, tens or even hundreds of logic equations are used to make decisions about the state of the power system and generate pre-planned responses to system events. We have shown earlier in this training CD that each element provides several binary statuses called flex operands. Whether it's a contact input, protection element, control element, or system element, such as the main circuit breaker, there is a large array of binary information available that can be combined with timers, logic gates, and flip-flops in order to create any kind of logic. Each logic equation consists of operands, an operator, and an output. The operator compares all of the inputs assigned to it, and then sets an output that is based on the status of those inputs and the function of that particular gate. Each logic equation evaluates the parameters, and then sets an output flag. The operands can be inputs, outputs, or protection or control elements of the relay. The operand can have a logic state of 0 or a logic state of 1. The operator can be an OR gate, AND gate, NAND gate, XOR gate, NOT gate, timer, or latch. With F650, the output flag is called a virtual output within the relay. It can be later used to operate an LED, contact output, or generate an alarm within the relay. A newly manufactured F650 relay already comes with a default PLC configuration built in. It basically combines the various protection function pickups to create a single virtual output that defines all the pickups. The same is done with the operate signals from the protection functions that eventually lead to one signal called the general trip. This default configuration will satisfy the typical user's needs in terms of simple and predictable protection and control functionality. If required, the default logic can also be modified and even started again from scratch to meet the requirement of a special application. This way, the F650 can provide extreme flexibility. Let's take a look at how to use this powerful tool. Navigate to the Set Point menu and select Logic Configuration. This will open a new part of the EnerVista 650 setup software, the 650 PLC Editor. Once in this new section of the software, open a graphical logic project using the menu file and then select the project of your choice. Alternatively, it is possible to create a new project. This would open up a blank canvas to start building your new logic. The two main files involved in the PLC Editor are the PEP and the AUT. The PEP is the project definition file. It indicates which AUT files are involved in a particular project. The AUT is the automatism file. It is the file that includes all the logical equations in graphical form. At this stage, a given project can only include one AUT file, which will hold all the logical equations for a given relay. One additional file that is involved in the PLC editor is the library file. It is possible to create a library of functions to ease the creation of logic. The library capability will be explained in further detail later in this training CD. Now let's take a look at the built-in logic of the F650. To open a pre-built logic file, go to the 650 PLC editor and click on Open. When the EnerVista 650 software is installed, it will automatically have access to all the built-in logic that the F650 relay has. Choose the folder that corresponds to the model of the relay being used. For example, if the relay's model number is F650MZDF1G0HIR, then select PLC underscore F650 underscore F1G1 underscore 1 underscore V220, since it is the closest match to the relay. After choosing the correct folder, open the PEP file, which is the project file and the built-in logic of the F650 will be displayed. Now let's take a look at the built-in logic that your relay has. 1. Pickups The first part of the logic includes all the protection elements' pickup statuses. 2. The next part of the built-in logic contains all the protection elements' operation signals. 3. The last part is an OR gate that operates a virtual output that defines a general trip. This general trip virtual output will operate once any protection function in the relay operates. Using the built-in logic of the relay, the user can directly install and use the F650 without having to configure any additional logic for the relay. 
In this section, we will learn about the different logic gates that can be used to program the F650 PLC logic editor. Basic gates for the F650 accept two inputs. If more inputs are needed, you can use the gates that are available in the library, or you can even create your own. We will learn more about the library of the PLC editor in a later section, but for now, we will focus on these basic gates. An AND gates output is on, or a logic 1 state, only if all of its inputs are 1. If any of the inputs are 0, the output will be 0. An AND gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. An OR gates output is logic 1, or on, if any of its inputs is a 1. The only time that the output of the logic gate can be a 0 is when all of its inputs are 0. An OR gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. A NAND gates output is opposite to the AND. Its output is a 0 if all of the inputs are 1. For all other scenarios, the output will be logic 1. A NAND gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. An exclusive OR gate, or XOR, can have only two inputs. The output of the exclusive OR gate is 1 only when one of the inputs is in the logic 1 state and the other is in the logic 0. Any other scenarios will result in an output of 0. An XOR gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. A NOT gate only has one input. The output is opposite of the input of the NOT gate. If the input is a logic 1, then the output will be a logic 0. Or, conversely, if the input is a logic 0, the output is a logic 1. A NOT gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. A one-shot gate has only one input. Whenever the input changes state from 0 to 1, the one-shot output is a pulse with a length of one scan cycle. A one-shot gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. Finally, an SR latch gate, also known as a set reset gate, accepts two inputs, a set input and a reset input. When the set input has logic state 1, the output is latched to logic state 1, which means it remains at 1 even after the set input changes to 0. The only way to reset the output, which means to change its state from 1 to 0 again, is if the reset input has a logic state of 1. So the set input sets or latches the output, while the reset input resets it. The SR gate of the F650 is reset dominant, which means that if both the set and the reset have a logic state of 1, the reset will dominate over the set, and thus the output will have a logic zero state. An SR gate can be inserted by clicking on its icon and clicking again anywhere in the canvas. In this section, we will learn how to start programming the PLC editor. We'll start with a new canvas and create our own logic. Open the 650 PLC editor as previously shown. Select New Project to open a new logic canvas. Recall that the PLC editor allows for the creating and editing of logic using a graphic user interface. Let's create a simple logic that activates a tripping signal once we have a timed or instantaneous overcurrent operation. First, we need to define the inputs. Hover the mouse over the inputs icon. Once the inputs are selected, click anywhere in the empty canvas to place the input. Notice the new menu with all the internal flex operands of the F650 that can be used as inputs for the PLC logic. Click on Status, Protection Status, and then scroll down to find Phase Instantaneous Overcurrent 1 High Operate, and click OK. We now have the first input for the logic. To insert the timed overcurrent, we'll repeat the same steps. Now insert a simple two-input OR gate by hovering over the icon of the OR gate and clicking on it. Finally, insert the output of the equation. Hover over the output icon next to the input one and insert the output into the canvas. We now have the inputs, the OR gate operand, and the outputs on the canvas. However, these flex operands are not connected yet. In order to connect the elements of the logic, 
Hover the mouse pointer over the end of the inputs, left-click and hold, then drag the line to the input of the OR gate. The connection must always be done from input to output. The same has to be done for the output of the OR gate to virtual output. After connecting all the flex operands together, we need to compile the graphical logic into equations that the F650 can understand. The compiler converts the graphical logic into equations that the relay can interpret. To do that, click on the compile icon of the PLC editor. The compiler will also check for any errors that the graphical logic has, such as a missing connection between flex operands. After the compilation is successful, you will be able to see the equations that the relay will interpret and implement. In order to upload the logic into the relay, click on Send Equations to Relay. Finally, in order to save your logic, go to File, Save Project As. The PLC editor will then ask you where to save your project. Saving a project will automatically save all the files involved in the project, including the project files, the automation files, and a database with the libraries. When sending the logic configuration from your PC to a relay, it is necessary to have all these files in one same folder. The F650 PLC editor has the capability to allow the user to add their logic libraries and create new operators. This is a unique and powerful tool that adds more flexibility to the logic and makes logic creation simpler. To access the library of the PLC editor, click on the Library button and then click anywhere inside of the canvas in order to insert a library operand. This will prompt a dialog box to open, allowing the user to select the library of choice. The PLC editor has built-in libraries that have already been created for use. These include up to eight input AND gates, eight input OR gates, the front key library, and the timer library. In order to insert a library, select it and then click on Open. Let's take a look at the timer library. It is a pre-built library that includes an input operand, pickup time, a dropout time, and an output. The input operand can be any flex operand of the relay, while the pickup and dropout times are the time delays for pickup and dropout, respectively. When the input operand of the timer changes state from 0 to 1, the output will change state from 0 to 1 after a delay equal to the pickup time. The input has to remain on or at logic state 1 for at least the value of the pickup time so that the output goes on. When the input operand changes state from 1 to 0, the output will change state from 1 to 0 after a delay equal to the dropout time. The input has to remain off or at logic state 2 for at least the value of the dropout time so that the output goes off. Now let's learn how to create a new library. First, let's take a look at what is inside of an existing library, for example an 8 input OR gate. Insert the 8 input OR gate into the canvas by selecting the library called OR8.lib. After inserting the 8 input OR gate into the canvas, right click on the inserted gate and click on Properties. That will open the Properties window of this library. Click on Library in order to see what the 8 input OR gate is made up of. As you can see, the 8 input OR gate library is made up of many basic 2 input OR gates cascaded into one output. Now we are going to learn how to create our own library. We shall create a 3 input NAND gate. This gate has an output of 0 only if all of the inputs are in logic state 1. The rest of the scenarios will result in an output of logic 1. To do that, we will first have to create a new library. In the PLC editor, go to File, Library, New Library. This will open an empty library canvas in order to create a new library. Insert two basic two input AND gates and a NOT gate. Connect the input of the first AND gate to the first input of the second AND gate and connect the output of the second AND gate to the input of the NOT gate. Next, we will define the inputs of this library. Insert an input into the canvas. Select Digital Inputs and rename it to NAND3 underscore 1. Insert three inputs in total and connect them to the free inputs of the AND gates. Make sure that the inputs have unique names.
Finally, insert an output variable. Choose Digital Outputs and connect it to the output of the knot. After completing all of these steps, save the library by clicking File, Library, Save Library As. Choose a name for the new library, then click Save. Now this newly created library is available for use in the PLC editor. In the project canvas, insert this new library by clicking on the Library button and selecting it. Now that we have learned of how to create a logic, it's convenient to mention certain rules to follow in order to create correct logics. They are, the first equation entered in the PLC cannot be a timer. The final output of the equations has to be a virtual output. It is possible to define or connect more than one virtual output to a single equation. The connection of the elements in the logic canvas has to be done from input to output. The order of equations is determined by the relative position of their outputs. For example, in the first case, equation A will be executed first. However, in the second case, the first equation to be executed is equation B. We have learned before that the graphical logic that we create in the PLC logic editor has to be compiled into Boolean equations so that the F650 can interpret them and apply that logic inside the relay. The compiled equations are automatically saved in the configuration file, which is the file with the .f650 extension. The EnterVista F650 software will automatically save these files into the F650 configuration files that are open when programming the logic. The graphical logic is separately saved into the logic project files, which are the .pep and .aut extensions, respectively. In order to save the graphical logic files in the relay, an internal memory drive has been provided inside of the F650. This internal memory drive can be considered as a storage place for the graphical logic. Any logic stored here does not have any effect on the operation of the F650, since the relay only understands the compiled logic that exists in the .f650 configuration files. Additionally, the user can also upload the configuration file, the .f650 file, into this storage space but remember that it will not affect the operation of the relay since this is only a storage place. To learn how to upload the operational .f650 configuration files into the relay, please refer to the software section of this training CD. Now we will learn how to use the storage memory in the F650. In order to upload the configuration files and logic project into the relay, open the EnterVista F650 setup software and navigate to Communications, Upload Info Files to Relay. Click on the Browse button to browse for the files in your PC hard disk. Please note that access to the storage memory of the F650 is only possible via an IP address. After choosing the files to upload, click on Upload File. In order to download the files in the F650 storage memory, go to Communications, Download Info Files from Relay. The EnterVista 650 software will prompt the user to select where to save the files on the PC hard drive. <laughs>